models line up and these will allow you to install this on the tesla model 3 highland model x and s refresh so once you attach this control gear column back onto this adapter you want to tighten it up with two screws that are provided so these two screws line up together with the gear column or drive column control column and you align that with the adapter so on the right side you do the same there's two column the one on the left and the one on the right they all line up with these adapter and you want to tighten this up with the two screws that are provided so to tighten up the screw make sure you use a manual screwdriver or a torque screw and hand tighten it first before you use the tool don't use an impactor that may strip the plastic so you want to tighten this up and torque it to the strength you feel like the least resistance and once you've done that go ahead and go into your tesla display under control and safety turn off the power once the power is off pry open the side column cap on the dash so these are the cover that will give you access to the adapter where you will plug in this gear column and lever control so once you remove that remove the bottom trim as well and detach disconnect the ambient lighting as well as the speaker so you just want to push your fingernails on the top and pull out if you don't have fingernails use a small screwdriver to unlatch the clip and you do the same for the speaker once you remove that go ahead and remove this trim and put this aside somewhere safe and then pull out this rubber weather seal and this will be easy to put back in then pry open the door seal right underneath between that rubber strip and once you remove that now you need to remove the steering wheel using two flathead screwdriver there's a hole at eight o'clock on the steering wheel column and four o'clock on the steering wheel column right behind the actual wheel itself this allows you to remove the airbag don't worry when the car is stationary the airbag won't deploy there is a wire behind there detach that wire by using the flathead screwdriver you also want to disconnect this burgundy wire as well once you remove those two wires and the airbag go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket place it into the center bolt and using a breaker bar go ahead have somebody hold the steering wheel turn it counterclockwise use a little strength until it loosen make sure you be careful while you're turning counterclockwise not to hit yourself or the window windshield itself so once you loosen this bolt it does require a little strength so having somebody hold the steering wheel is ideal you can always hold it with your knee and then once you loosen it go ahead and hand untighten it by turning it counterclockwise and then take out that bolt wiggle the steering wheel rocking it back and forth left and right towards you and this should loosen it enough for you to pull it out be careful not to hit your face with this when you're yanking it back once the steering wheel is off go ahead and pry open the steering wheel column so you want to pry open the top there's four clips and then you want to detach this wiring harness then unscrew the two torque screw at 11 o'clock and one o'clock and this two screw you will reuse later so once you remove those you can actually detach the bottom cover of the steering wheel column by pulling it towards you and then down and now you have full access to the steering wheel column next remove the bottom trim underneath the steering wheel and the column right where your knees are at for the driver's seat and this will allow you to fish the wire later so you want to remove this actual uh, cover itself and put that aside next go over to the passenger side seat and from the a pillar of the passenger side you will be looking for a gray connector using the actual harness that comes with the kit 
go ahead and plug the white to the gray so male white to gray female and attach that harness then you will remove the OEM small plug the white plug so remove the male white plug once you remove that male white plug you will be using a u-loop connected to the actual device harness and plugging the actual Tesla OEM white male plug into the white female plug and then loop it using the kit male plug plug it back into that small connector then you will be fishing this wire harness through the center console so using a fishing rod go ahead and tape it around on the other end of the actual harness so you want to use electrical tape try not to use any other tape other than electrical tape you can use the vinyl one or the fabric one it doesn't matter but tape the end of the actual harness to the fishing wire so the fishing wire uh, you pull that through from the drive column through the center console over to the passenger side it does require a little navigating around so make sure you have some flashlight and if you have an extra hand on the other side you guys or girls can help fish through the wires through the center console and this is the most difficult part of this whole process everything else is pretty much straightforward once you fish this through to the driver's side fish it through the drive column the steering wheel column and pull it through the top of the bottom cover of the drive column again be patient work through the fish wire and once you have it pulled through don't try to yank it if you have any issue if you feel like it's stuck pull it back the other way so once we have the wires over now you can go ahead and attach the oh. column on the left and the right so the left is for the windshield wipers as well as your high beam and the right side is your drive column so once you have it lined up and it fits in here it should fit in here perfectly go ahead and put back on the screws and tighten this up so there's screws on top of each of the column you want to make sure that these are tightened up hand tightened don't use a impactor that will potentially strip the plastic take your time with this and make sure the screws are lined up correctly hand tighten before you actually use the torque screw or screwdriver to tighten this up then you have a couple on the bottom as well so make sure you also hand tighten this and once that is done go ahead and plug in the wires so each of the column has its own connector but it is one harness that comes through that splits up so once you plug in you will see the light amber light lighting up on the back side of the actual column or gear selector and tuck away the wires and once you're done go ahead and clean up the area and place this cover back on so you start from the bottom everything in reverse order you slide up and back in to the drive column so take your time with this don't force it if you feel like the wires is blocking the cover go ahead use your other finger to push it into the actual sleeve itself take your time with this and make sure you do it correctly and once it's fully in you can go ahead and attach that clip and then work your way to the top so make sure you screw back the bottom cover bolts and using hand screw hand tighten it before you actually use a torque screw or screwdriver then now place the top cover back on and clamp it down this two column shifter does come with this extra cap for a clean OEM look so one on each side you snap it on 
and then now place the steering wheel back on and this is a yoke steering wheel also available and we'll post a link in the description of this video where you can